In our last episode of Mastering Town Hall 9, we put our king and queen to sleep. And we tried to still do some raids, and today I have something amazing to share with you guys. Plus, only 162 wall pieces left. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and welcome back to episode 19 of Mastering Town Hall 9. By the way, I'm loving this series. I hope you guys are as well. From the comments, it seems that you are. So let's have fun, learn some Clash of Clans, play some Clash of Clans, and look at some amazing stuff. But listen, we did have our king and queen down. It's been two days since we've recorded. I've kind of rested a little bit and we let the king and queen get their upgrades done. So the queen, Level 17, and the king level 15. They are ready to go. The king got another level on top of his ability. We're gonna go on in, spank some bases using the strongest strategy. This strategy that we're talking about here today, guys, it has to be the strongest strategy in all of Clash of Clans, no matter what town hall level. The most dominant strategy is this. And you know what? Before I even go in on an attack, I have to show you something that I did with zero heroes. Let's let's go take a look. Yeah, okay, it's a Town Hall 9. There, it's it's a lower level Town Hall 9, but you know what, this was just fun. There was pretty decent loot. We're gonna use Witch Slap with zero heroes and grab it all, and let's see. Three witches, two healers down south. Three witches, two healers over in the west. One golem with one witch behind. I spread out the five uh, wizards behind that as well, and then the key to the strategy is coming in right there, the max level bowlers, I'm telling you. Town Hall 8, 9, 10, they just can't handle the max level bowlers. If you can get Town Hall 13 level bowlers, get them. You'll, this can happen, guys. I mean, yeah, this is basically a Town Hall 8 that just turned to a Town Hall 9. So I am stronger than the attack, but I'm hero-less, okay? So I wasn't sure how far these bowlers would actually drop themselves into the base. And they dropped it like it was hot straight through the core of the base. We dropped the heal spell. We had the rage spell on them for the time being. And now even the healers are kind of just rejuvenating them, getting them ready to go and push to the base. And you know, my voice literally for two weeks has kind of been gone. It's not 100%. I have a weak spot in my voice. So when I crack, no, it's not puberty. I've gone through that a long time ago. It's just a, a weak voice for some reason. Sorry about it, we can make fun of it if we want. It's all good, but check out these witches and bowlers spanking the base. Now, what we're gonna do the rest of the day today is, of course, we need to update the wall pieces. We need to get more wall done today, but we also, we need to do a little bit more witch slap. I have some research going on. I'm gonna wanna start doing uh, Lalo, Queen Charge Lalo soon as well. But for now, it's gonna be Witch Slap, guys. They got me enrolled in war. These guys over here in Scrappy Nines, they always want me to war. It's because they know I'm so good at the game. Totally joking. I'm always in war, which is cool. I may have even missed the last war. You know, let's go check it out. Let's see if I missed my attacks in the last war. I, I hope not. Looks like I didn't. Our last war was 11 days ago. Besides that, it was the, the Clan War Leagues, okay? So yeah, we attacked all that in the Clan War Leagues. But we do have a war right now against Legend 9. They got me enrolled in it, of course, and that's gonna be sweet. You know, these are all Town Hall 9s. So the question is this, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Will the Scrappy 9s defeat Legend 9? Do you remember back when I said... I'm gonna forget my base up one of these days and someone's gonna come smash it. I know that there's gonna be a day I leave this base up and I get three starred for all my loot and for everything. It's going to happen, guaranteed. Well, look at this. So yeah, guys, you remember me saying that? Well, uh, I forgot to change up my base. I left my progress base up and this person came through and they bullied me. They stole 2,000 Dark Elixir from me and they this wasn't fair. I don't even have my clan castle set to defend. It's all just set because I don't want to waste my CC troops. I don't want to ask for my clan mates for more CC troops than I need to. And we had Tham Wen Hao 42 out of Ayat's Titans. That was only two episodes ago of this of this whole series. And I forgot already. I knew I was going to, so I guess, you know, why wait? We'll just forget right now, right, right off the bat. We'll just forget and we'll get trashed. But I have bowlers in the clan castle, max level, donated from my best friend. 
My other account, the Echo Through Me account. That's my Max 13. Oh, that is sad, I'm telling you. I came over and donated to myself. You know, he's a good guy, that Echo Through Me is. We're gonna go in on an attack, utilizing the Witch Slap strategy, and we're gonna try and take down another base. So while I look for a base, guys, let me thank you for always commenting and being active in the comment section by highlighting a few of your comments. And my goodness, we found a base just as I said we were going to do those comments. And of course, we did see your comments because my boy G, he's amazing. Thanks, G. But we got this base, we got this loot, and we're going to go right on in. So we're getting three riches in the corner and two healers. This is the whole way you do it, guys. Three witches, two healers. Then I'm going to go with the two, with one, two golem. We're going to get the wizards behind and one witch. Now, I hope that this funnel is set well enough. We have a, a lot going on here. So let's go ahead. We're going to skelly spell that queen right off the bat. And I could rage all this up. We're going to get the, the king in here and the queen. A little concerned here about the funnel, though. Uh, I did not funnel things very well, and that could be a problem. So we're going to jump in these troops. The king is probably going to run around the base, and that's okay. Oh, oh, no. I, that was my... Oh no, I double jumped in the same spot. I thought I dropped my heal spell. It's okay, we'll be able to get them in. The bowlers, are you gonna go in the base or what? My goodness, we got, okay, they're making their way in. Wow, that was just not at all optimal, but we are getting through the base anyways, somehow. The bowlers are gonna make their way. We gotta break through some wall now as well, and I'm going to heal them up once they get into the core. I have no more really anything, so we need we need to break through wall. The king is going to do it. His ability is intact. And here we go. Will they get into the base? The witches are still along the outside doing a good job, except for those healers going down. Oh, air defense is about, took down one of the healers, not two. And here we go. King's ability is good to go. We're going to go and uh, let's heal up everything uh, right about now. We're going to drop that heal. Everything is under heal. The heroes are going to get healed up, and we're going to pop their abilities. Witches are still on the outside of the base. Even with my fat finger drop of that jump spell, we're still able to, my friends, get through this base. We're going to pop the king's ability, have him slam through that wall because he has he's that new level 15 king. We're going to get the queen going in as well. There's even some healers supporting everything as they go through. You cannot stop the bowlers. Now, if you don't have bowlers, guys... Bring Valkyries, the highest level Valkyries you can bring. But my goodness, we got the loot, all of that loot. We took down the base, took down the heroes. Even though I made a mistake, we got every single bit. 600,000 gold. So I've requested my troops. My other account's not in here right now, so I'm not going to be able to get those max level bowlers. But I asked for Valkyries or bowlers, and it looks like we have Lost Squirrel again coming through. This guy, always on top of my donations. Thank you so much, my friend. And you know, guys, the one thing that I use my gems on here in my Town Hall 9 are these training potions. They're really a great value because, you know, I want to get into another attack right away. I don't want to have to wait on my heroes. So the training potion gets those heroes ready to go right away, especially for my war attacks where I have two war attacks to do. We have 4,000 gems and already have five builders. Much thanks to the gem mine. Thank you, Gem Mine. The only thing worthy in this Builder's Hall, at least on this account. I do like playing Builder's Hall on my main account sometimes. Oh, by the way, Space Station Gaming, those guys are OP. They don't lose. They took down the ESL Mobile Open, winning first place, defeating Coastal Clash a few weeks ago. Much love to Space Station Gaming. And if you guys don't know, I am one of the two community managers for Space Station Gaming Clash of Clans Division, myself and Klaus team up and uh, represent Clash of Clans for SSG. Hey G, while I search for a base, can I get a cup of coffee with milk and one equal, please? Thanks, bro. So guys, how do you take your coffee? I like mine, three milks, one equal. At least that's what Dunkin' Donuts says when I go, but I can't stand it when I go to Dunkin' Donuts, say medium coffee, milk, one equal, and they give me a medium coffee milk with sugar. That's not what I asked for, man. Get it right. This is it. We found it. We got it. This is the base I'm going to go crush. Now, we have both of the heroes together in the same compartment. I could jump my, my Valkyries right into there. Should do a nice job. I need to come in with my Wizards, too, because I get the feeling there's something in that clan castle. I just get that feeling. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go with 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, just like we've been saying before. 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2. I'm going to get one Golem, one Witch. 
I'm gonna get all of the wizards behind, and I'm gonna go with the other golem by the queen, king and the queen over here. That king is gonna go down to all those skeletons, I believe. We're gonna drop the jump spell right here, and there looks like there is nothing in the clan castle, actually. My queen, though, she's going in another direction. Let's get the Valkyries in the attack right now as well. Gotta funnel them well, because you know those girls like to go crazy. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what, guys. The funnel went really well. Everything is kind of just... Uh-oh. Healers, they're going now with my... With my king. What, what even happened there? I got the rage spell going on and the jump spell into the core of the base. Let's hope they can get it done. We're going to go with a heal spell in the core as well. Witches are on the outside. King is into the core. The queen, she is wall pounding. Ah, oh, man. She didn't get that jump spell in time. Now she's just going to run herself around. And what I'm going to try and do is we're going to try and get that skeleton spell to take down that compartment. Just to distract those defenses while we have some witches in the core. Witches and wizards are going to take down the town hall. That mortar is not going to be able to get them down in time. Oh, giant bomb, but we're good. We got it eaten by the heroes. They're all good to go. Hero abilities are intact. And listen, guys, there's a way to swag spells. We need to go over swag spell lesson 101 on this attack because I know I'm going to pull in the triple on this. But I'm going to pop the king right there to get him in. And the queen, she is still looking good. Witches are going to be able to take down that archer tower, I think. I think we're going to have a triple. There are a few defenses left. Maybe I won't be able to swag my spells. I'm not 100% sure. I need the witches to spam out that double cannon. They're going to be able to get the double cannon down. The golem is doing a good job. Queen, clean up those traps. I want that those healers to be alive. Queen's popping through. Bomb tower is going to go down. Okay. One cannon, one bomb... Two cannons, one bomb tower, and archer tower. We should be able to get all that with the queen's ability. Check it out as the witches come around up top. The queen is taking down a cannon. Witches are taking down a cannon. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be it, guys. We're going to grab the three stars on this one. We're going to have to pop that queen's ability. And right about when we're about to get things done, we're going to have to drop it. Because... The, the spell needs to be on the map when the attack actually ends for it to be a proper swag. And that's going to be right now. Perfect. The spell is still there. That's a swag. We do not lose with Witch Slap at Town Hall 9. The strategy is too strong. I'm feeling good. Let's go spank bases with Witch Slap. So we're collecting our treasury, getting all those rewards back. We have nearly 5 million gold, almost 6 million elixir. Just to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to remove one wall piece, select this entire row, and move it up here. Now, I think I could do more wall than this. What is that? Three, six, seven. This is going to be eight. Let's see if we could do a full 10 pieces in today's video. So here we go. We're going to select the entire row. We're going to do some with gold right there. Oh, boy. That's an investment here, doing elixir, when I still have elixir research to do, but I'll tell you what, we're gonna be doing the Lava Hound next, so let's use this elixir right now. Wow, that's a lot of elixir, but it gave us 10 more pieces of wall. Can we do more? I think we may be able to add a few more to that as well, so let's go ahead and grab one, we're gonna grab two, we're gonna grab three more, which will be a total of 13. We're gonna select the row, upgrade with gold, and upgrade with gold again. That is 13 more wall pieces done today. That's crazy, that's so much wall. This progression, it's cake. The wall count has been updated, and right now we have to do the official moving. 13 pieces of wall added to the finished, completed, 100% beautiful Town Hall 9 wall row much love to all my clan mates over in scrappy nines if you guys want to be part of this entire clan family which is literally like 10 clans deep you can apply in my discord server join up down below come to the looking for a clan section and you can get hooked up with our recruiters you cannot just ask to join in game Sorry, guys, you'll be rejected every time you have to go through Discord. But we're out of here for today. If you've missed any of this series, this epic Mastering Town Hall 9 series, find it right here. Go check it out. Go watch it today. I love you guys. Have a great day. And be good.